Mounting calls for CCTV cameras to be installed in school. The Nenis and Neurons crash was shut down yesterday after a video went viral showing a staff member hitting children. The Education for Social Justice Foundation has been at the forefront of this call. They believe cameras would curb misconduct and improve education outcomes. For more on this, we're joined now by the Foundation's Deputy Chairperson, Hendrik Makenata. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Now, Hendrik, I must ask, I mean, it's not a new phenomenon. We've got a lot of those schools and the privatized um, nursery schools and institutions that many would say are more expensive that are actually have got some CCTV footage allowing even parents to view what their children are doing from a laptop or even from their mobile phones, right? So you're making for a greater call and even going to the more public sphere. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, uh, this call was made in 2017 mm. where we asked uh, government to install cameras uh, basically in all the schools across the country to make sure that you know we improve uh, amongst others uh, the safety of learners and uh, you know not only safety but also uh, teaching and learning uh, because there are many uh, public schools where you find that uh, teachers uh, do not teach you know learners are there in class and there's no one uh, teaching them so once you have uh, uh, mechanisms such as uh, monitoring mechanisms such as cameras then you'll be able to improve uh, teaching and learning. So you're saying that it must be a part of the foundation of the school. In other words, if I'm going to be building a toilet and making sure that there's a toilet in the school, I must make sure that there's a CCTV camera that is able to detect and, and see what the school is is doing at any particular moment in time. Because some schools are using it at their own discretions and installing CCTV footage and cameras, um, you know, at the office or in places where they would say that there's more frequency and there's a risk of any form of intrusion. Yeah, we think that you know government must make it uh, compulsory mm -hmm. for all schools to, to have cameras. I mean, if you look at the uh, situation that happens, uh, the video that we saw, uh, if no one took a, a video there, we would not have known about the, the incident. Mm. And uh, in most cases, we rely on, uh, you know, video clips that are taken by learners. Uh, for example, in a school where <coughs> a learner assaulted a teacher in a VAL, uh, but also in other incidents where, where learners were, were assaulted by teachers. So, if, if no one takes a, a video clip, then it means the country will not know. And most of the atrocities happen in the dark. Uh, you know, people are killed in darkness. Mm. So a camera is a light that will be able to reveal, uh, you know, day-to-day -day activities, not only in school level, but also at foundation level. Uh, explain this to me, and I mean, you'll be able to give me the technical um, uh, mechanics of this. When you start saying uh, issues around cameras and people will be able to see, and I'm using again, back to the, uh, the example of some schools currently have got uh, cameras installed, and nursery schools have got cameras installed, where even mm. parents can take a look at what's happening with their children at any given moment in time outside of the school in itself. But that does, not, does that not allow a space for hacking? And let me be specific, especially around those child offenders or anybody that is seeking to get into a child trafficking ring because now what you're saying is that here are the kids, 30 of them in a particular class mm -hmm. and this is what they look like, almost allowing for hackers to get into the system and see because if I can see, surely the person that is on the wrong side of it or the, the wrong side of the stick can also see the very same children I'd be trying to protect. Well, uh, in this case, w w what should happen, uh, we're not saying like in Parliament. You see, in Parliament, everyone can see what is taking place on a daily basis. Mm. But at school level, you'll have, uh, for instance, the principal together with an IT person who's in charge, you know, b monitoring the, the, the environment. Uh, it, parents can only be able to see whatever that is happening on request. For example, we are saying that a parent can walk into the school and... and Check whether I want to see what children at are, in my child's English class. Yeah, what 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 their children, whether their children are being taught or not, mm. because there's footage. You can always uh, go back and and look at the footage that took place, uh, let's say five days ago or even ten days ago. You can select the date and the a relevant parent who is registered with the uh, school, whose uh, child is attending at the school, shall have the right to view. You know, uh, you know whether their children are safe or not. Not necessarily uh, um, all members of the public, because of course that can open a wide range of uh, loopholes mm -hmm. where even uh, criminality can further take place. Well, it's definitely a situation that needs to be interrogated further. I mean, not necessarily like Parliament, but you know, if anybody can can have the the guts to hack into the system, one does not want to find themselves where children are placed in a very vulnerable position as opposed to being protected at the first place. But yeah. now we have to leave our conversation there for this morning. Thanks okay. all for joining us and well, really sharing some insights there in terms of that call.